What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care because they gave us white Pikmin, but why would we want to have them if we just have bold men? I'm starting to think that using that ivory candy pot bud yesterday was a bad idea. Oh well, you know what's not a bad idea? Getting these eggs over here. Right, bold men, please destroy. Let's get this egg, please. Thank you. Ugh, drink it all up. Sluppity slurp. We're gonna need to learn how to run, so it would be a good investment. Louis, you are the leader. Onima, you're gonna stay back here. Onima's gonna keep on guard and get. Ugh, Onima, this is not what I had planned for you. This is why it sucks with the whistle upgrade sometimes. Onima's gonna stay back because Pikmin can get out of the way of the bomb rock. Ugh. Pikmin can. Serious? And a careening Dirigi bug? Are you serious? No. Get out of here. I don't like you. Pikmin are not safe if they're at base. Even if they're underneath the ship, the water wraith can get them. So we are not gonna let them get any chance of dying anymore. We're just gonna get them, keep them with Olimar, and they hopefully won't die. Right, okay. Volatile Dweevil as well? Are you serious? Come on, alright, get in the cave. The cave is safe. Pipe, Pikmin, please. Alright, well we lost two more to explosions. That's a new hazard, I guess. Explosions. Yay. Oh, seriously? We just started building a- or defeating a bridge and you're already throwing a bomb rock at us? Come on! Ah, well at least it doesn't throw a second one at us, because I know there are some places where it's just like, Oh, there's no bombs here, you're safe. And then the moment you try again, it's like, Oh, no, wait, now there is. Ah, okay. If we can get this done in two minutes, we might be safe. We have some unique pipe. Okay, volatile, de volatile, volatile. Do we will just land right on bold, uh, bold mid, careening to reach you, but as well. Come on, how many? And another? Are you serious? I don't know where to go for this. I literally like I'm just hugging the wall at this point because I have nowhere else to go. Jesus, this is outrageous. It really is. I think what I'm going to do now, actually, is I'm going to get... Right, I'm going to get the Pikmin to do this wall for one thing. Because I don't need it. For the white Pikmin, I'm actually going to put you in this pipe here. I don't think the water ray can go in that pipe, so you're kind of safe in there. So, since whites can't drown anyway, and... Ooh! More bold men. Don't mind if... Two bold men, Pat families. Don't mind if I do. Well, we're going to destroy this cave, this cave thing first, and then we'll do it. So I'm going to leave the whites in there, so that hopefully they won't drown, because we're going to need to go into a bit of water soon. Good. Now we can get out if we need to. We're not yet. Okay, throw the bulb on this poison. You better hold on to your butts, bulb man. I'm about to kill your mother. You should feel happy, because there's a volatile devil deal. I can't pronounce your name right ever. ba 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 da ba ba da Oh man, I thought that would kill the mother. I, able to, I was able to do that in my practice file as well, and this might actually be hazardous because there are two of them now, so I don't know. Okay, please, enough with the death. Please stop. Please, follow 12. Okay, everyone, get out. Everyone out. Okay, if only that volatile, volatile boy will show up earlier. Anyway, here it doesn't glint, Beetle. Golden, give me treasure, thank you. Oh, if only that volatile weevil showed up earlier, then I might have actually been able to kill two birds with one stone and... Ah, oh, well, it's never the case. Never the case. Now we've got plenty of bulbin and wow, they are slow, aren't they? Okay, no, bomb rock, no. Get out. No one likes you. No. And I think like we've done this before the water even showed up, so we're doing good on time. Don't want to... Jinx things up a bit, which I know I probably already have if I will, but okay, bomb rock! That's a quick bomb rock as well. Alright, well, we were already well out of the way before that could do any damage. Okay, where's my other 17 Pikmin? 16. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? I can't see. Oh, it's right in the water as well. Wonderful. Really, really wonderful. And actually, I don't think I can get us around here, so don't mind me, I'm just sneaking around here. Gonna get this battery in the middle of nowhere, and we should be safe. Oh, getting nervous now. 25 Pocos, it's the Pale Passion. Right, now 
Where is it? I like, seriously... Where? Oh! Aha! It's trying to get into the pipe, you see? And it is not succeeding! You see that? That's exactly, I guess, a good reason to have the white pigment there. I'm glitching the game. Good. I think it's moving again, isn't it? No, no, it's trying. Wait. Is it moving? Yes, it is. It's going around the edges. Okay. This is a good time to get out. Get out of here. Run. Avoid. Leave. Oh. Well, at least we got a Japanese can of some kind. Oh, wow, it's 130 Poco, so it's actually good. The open archive. Yay! Uh, oh, it turns around. Looks like it's gone back again. Okay, I'm not complaining. You're gonna, you're gonna keep going to the whites there, aren't you? You're gonna fail too. That's good. All right then. What's this tiny little Duracell battery gonna give us? Ninety Pocos. That's actually getting kind of valuable now. The Proton Double A. Proton AA, and we're done! We're done! We don't need to deal with anything else anymore, so I am gonna get our Pikmin, and we are gonna leave! Because these bomb rocks are not good for our so- Where is it? I can hear it, but I can't see it. Where is it? <gasps> okay, no, that's a volatile evil, and it's right there! Okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye! I hate you all, goodbye! Uh. Yes! 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 This is the sub-level you would like to find. The final floor of the submerged castle. Because, for one thing, these gates are made of paper or something. They just can't get through. But what's even better, is they give you violet candy pop buds. They give you purple Pikmin. You want purple Pikmin. And because we have these new Boltmin, what we're going to do is we're actually going to sacrifice them. Okay? It's not just because I'm cruel or that I want to just not have any more Boltmin, but they are actually quite helpful for this, and I will show it off in a minute. First, we have some purple Pikmin to create. Ah, it's so relieving to hear music that isn't quite so creepy. I'm not sure if there's any music at all, actually. All right, Louis, you can do what you do best. You can go pluck these Pikmin. Oh, I can finally relax and I can rest a little bit. So now we have 10 purple Pikmin. Actually, I'm going to spend the time to actually go and get some nectar and get some he health. No, flowers. Flowers is good. Let me do all of the nectar, all of the goodness let us get. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can fight off the water wraith. Now its weakness is purple Pikmin. For whatever reason, it for some reason becomes a solid creature when it hears the sound of Pikmin thudding, or when it gets felt by it, or something like that. So... Oh look, Nectar! Not anymore! The water break is here to ruin your fun! Except the egg doesn't actually break, so it doesn't actually look that scary. Now it's broken. Right! So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our purple Pikmin, and we're gonna basically stun it. And with that, it goes completely black and solid, for reasons I cannot explain. Now what's really interesting is, <coughs> this guy seems to be related to a Japanese mythology called the Umibozu. If you click the icon in the top right now, you'll be able to, right after I get this guy, you'll be able to link to a video to hear a theory video about this guy. But I warn you, there are spoilers of picking 1 and 2. So this guy, now, after being chased by him and harassed and worried about being murdered and deft and squished, it's now time to turn the tables. He is the one who is being chased, even though he's just rolling around like nothing. But still, we are the ones at the advantage. And now it's one Olimar and Louie and zero Water Ray. And it's done! Never mind, it's not done. As the music says, the music will continue because now he is truly useless. He doesn't have his rollers and he cannot hurt us in any way if he wanted to. 
He is a coward. Of course, Pikmin still bounce off him in his liquidy form. You get the purple, it will go kind of solid. And now everyone can just get on top of him and squash him about. And this is fun, how the colours are just flying everywhere. But no, no, this is your time to shine. Or really, the not time to shine, Lord Grey. You've given me hell. You have given me children around the world who have played this game absolute hell. And now look at you. You are a scared, fat, whatever that is. I don't even know. You are running for your life. You are a coward. You know that as well, don't you? I bet you do. Why can't I get my purples to stun you? Come on. There's not that many. There we go. Everyone get on top of it because seriously, this is the final battle against... Well, it's not really a final battle, but seriously, it is done for you. Man, is that satisfying. And he just disappears in some blobby goop, never to appear again. Or does he? Processing. How curious. The wraith completely vanished. But what was it? Surface object scans indicate the presence of a bright red component. Well done, ship. Well done. What a wonder though, surely those 100 pokers that this is worth wouldn't count because we're probably keeping this to keep our upgrade, right? Oh well. The professional noisemaker. How insulting. This, oh, insulting? Okay. The object's colouring is more eye-catching than my own hull. That's because you suck, ship. I shall connect it to the alarm clock our esteemed president was so fond of. Processing complete. I have refitted both objects into a plucker phone. Now, simply blowing your whistle will inspire Pikmin to sprout, or Pikmin sprouts, to pop out of the ground. Yes, so now you don't have to repeatedly tap A, and Louis' job just became even less significant. All we can do now, or all we need to do now, is whistle. And our Pikmin will be plucked out just like that. But first, before we leave and enjoy our time that we had here, or the times we didn't enjoy here, I'm going to just leafify our last few Pikmin. And unfortunately, this is going to be goodbye to the Bulbmin. Despite the fact that they clearly can probably jump or you could throw them, Bulbmin cannot leave the caves. For whatever reason, they don't jump into the geyser in the cutscene. This is the last we're going to see of them. We murdered their family. We told them to come down here, fight off, fight off this massive monster, kill it. And now we're just going to leave it. Cruel world, nature. It really is such a cruel world. Oh, 56 deaths. Oh. And after all of that, after all of that hassle, we gained 650 Pocos. Yeah, not even worth it. Ugh. On the bright side, we got some purples and whites. But we're almost extinct on blues. 90% of the dead is recovered. We're nearly complete. But not yet. We've still got a couple things we're going to need to do first. For now, I think we're just going to relax for a little bit. Louis, I don't know what to do with you. But I think Oliver needs a break, don't you? Yes. So Louis, you can just sort of stay back here. No one cares. Oliver. Just enjoy the beautiful sunset that is this game. Look at this. Actually, that if that would that would look better if there was water or something. It's almost sundown. Hurry up! I'm gonna run in this new mode because I like it. Let's see what we got over here. We got a dandelion, and it's actually white with the feathery bits flying off of it. And look at those details. They're actually flying away. Ah, oh, and then they fade into nothingness. Let's see, tomorrow we're going to run down here. We're going to see if we can destroy this electric gate, but it's past water. How could you possibly do that? We're going to go up on these scales at some point, then avoid this wa yellow wallywog. We're going to get more electric gates onto this gate here. Interesting. 
Maybe what else we can do is we can come over here. We can fight off these skittle leaves and these hermit chromats. Look at the size of that one. That, that one's kind of tiny. And you got some treasure up there. We should see if we can collect. We've got five seconds left on the clock. These aren't seconds. We've got some water dumpers to deal with. A withering blowhog. And look, when you complete a cave, you get a flag just to say you got all the treasure. You can get all the treasure. Isn't that nice? Well, we'll deal with it tomorrow. Zero. Wow, five Wally Walks, really? Was that really necessary? Today's report. Damn, 2,108 Pocos, wow. Yeah, we just about made more Pikmin. Oh, 72 to battle. Ow. Olimar, you're still being promoted to manager. Only a small bit of debt remains. You've done great. As I have, as have I. No one dodges debt collectors like I do. I'm a pro. Well done, President. Your puppy dog eyes are great or something. Yeah. So, in the next episode, we're going to go back to the perplexing pool, complete that one last cave, and see if we can get the last upground treasure. Upground? Outside treasure? On surface treasure. We'll call it surface treasure. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe we'll even complete the debt. So for now, my name's been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. passion. When I was just a young lad, I looked everywhere for love. I guess that's why I smile when I see young people laughing together. Huh. That's a bit random, but alright. Open archive. The container is open, but not broken. This is very revealing. This is a very revealing design, which does not consider its contents. This is an incom incomprehensible concept for art culture. This object rem proton proton double A proton double A. This object resembles the first treasure I found on this planet, so it holds a certain sentimental value to me. However, I've slight however I've just noticed the size is slightly different. Sometimes, sometime I should take the time to read my previous treasure logbook. It's good to reflect on the past sometimes. Jurup. The Water Wraith. Amphibios sapiens. Unknown family. All that is known about this creature stems from a few sightings deep underground. All the reported sightings feature the same core set of details. A giant, viscous form with a clear, hazy sheen, not unlike hard candy. One theory holds that it may be the ectoplasmic incarnation of a kind of psychic phenomenon. But as is usually the case with such theories, it is very difficult to prove. All witnesses report being suddenly overcome with fear upon sighting the creature, approaching a state of panic and near insanity. In fact, every report came, contains an inordinate amount of extremely vague details, which has led to suspicions that exhaustion and fear have caused some simple natural phenomenon to be viewed as a living creature. Inedible, known to cause mass hysteria, followed by leg spasms and internal thunderings. Professional Noisemaker I recently took a team of blue pigment on an expedition to explore a submerged cavern. While exploring this watery cavern, I encountered some very strange phenomena. It was such a strange place that I'm still wondering if it was all just a dream. I found this curious treasure in that cavern, so if it was just an illusion, I'm even more confused. I named that confounding place the Submerged Castle. 